What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Corey Millionaire Girlfriend Exposed Maddie Private Messages. Let's get it. Why this ugly ass girl gonna text my phone? I can't wait to tell you about this shit. Gonna text my phone. This bitch look like fucking saw in the face. It's some little bitch that Corey's with right now. And she's sitting there texting my phone like she lost her mind. So now the girl that Maddie is stating texts her phone and is allegedly dating Corey is Big Bank Danny. Now Danny is a serial entrepreneur and she's worth more than $10 million. She just bought a mansion outside of Houston. Now yesterday when Corey was on Instagram live with Zoe, Zoe asked Corey, where are you? Corey stated that he was at home. Now this is the same house that Danny has posted on her Instagram page. I'm not gonna post the photos of the outside of her house, but I did find the inside pictures. And as you can see, same background as Corey has here in that live. Now, not only that, they both posted up. Okay, so I didn't, I couldn't tell if that was his arm or not. Now I see photos of them drinking now they didn't tag each other but obviously these are at the same place no Corey was also on instagram live uh, riding around in a rose royce with blue interior you can see she posted that same rose royce on her instagram page now they are both denying that they are together Corey even posted her team reached out for promo but now you're all shipping us low-key i'm intrigued if she down go flood her comments and let her i'm gonna tell y'all right now i'm not buying the promo thing at all now why would they deny that they are with each other i don't know and i mean with each other as far as might be kicking it might be smashing but i'm gonna tell y'all right now i'm not mad at Corey for making this move i'm not him and maddie only been together for two months now she is pregnant maddie I feel like it take two to tango. You should have been more careful with your giant. Like, you know what I'm saying? She, we have to make, we have to hold Maddie accountable for her vagina. Like for real, like it take two. And he over there, like, um, she planned it and all this other shit. He needs to be held accountable for his meat. Like, what are we doing? Y'all we grown. They, y'all niggas 24, 25, buying mansions and shit. Y'all not babies. Y'all got enough sense to get you a damn mansion. Some of us in our 30s still trying to figure out how to get a mansion, okay? Because we wasn't given the same opportunities as y'all until now, 222 in the chat. So now we got to figure out how to get mansions. My point is, okay, y'all old enough to figure out what the fuck y'all need to do and how y'all need to do it. Y'all knew what y'all was doing, period her no i'm interested then he adds big bank danny you now when maddie was on a live she was talking a lot of crap about danny saying she looks like saw calling her ugly so now danny came back and responded to maddie she stated i'm not going back and forth with nobody with eight dollars to their name <laughs> sis get you some help spiritually mentally and financially then she posts a text that maddie sent her the text stated hey i pray this comes off the right way i'm gonna skip this i reacted to this last night i did my own little tea thing twice yesterday okay um y'all check out my videos but shout out to tea room shout out the voice shout out to so real tea they let me react to their videos no problem i appreciate y'all um I, it's just i already reacted to that content so y'all can check it out um big big bank danny got her together babe now I don't know if y'all seen the text messages. If y'all haven't seen the text messages, I'll just let her finish saying the text message. But basically, Maddie went through Corey's phone that Corey gave her, though. And I don't know if Corey was like, I don't care if I'm going to leave the messages in here. Like, it wasn't about nothing but business. And uh, he just decided to keep them in there. But she ended up texting Shorty phone because her and Corey was doing business together. Okay? Now... Originally, apparently, it was about a promo. Now, even Maddie said that they was talking on business terms, and Maddie had the access to the phone of them speaking about business. The problem is, why is Corey calling her house home? And soon as he, you know, decided, we, I'm about to leave you, 
he went straight to Shorty House. Now, I feel like if she got six rooms, seven bathrooms, I could hold a room right quick. You know what I'm saying? But he is willing to stick his vaina in any vaina sausage jar. So I just feel as though he went over there to slide up in that. All right? I don't think it was for let me uh, rent out a room right quick services. I don't think that's what that was for. Okay? Um, so, yeah. Then she states, y'all females are going to learn to keep ish between you and that N word. Why the F you mad at me? The only thing my manager did was contacted him for a promo video for my company. And now you're venting to me about a situation that I don't know ish about. And then had the audacity to contact chaotic asking him. Did he know me? <laughs> you are a real yeah, stalker. Yeah. You're texting everybody in that man phone. I didn't do all of this type of ish when my BD <laughs> left me you laugh at the last woman's pain and now those tables turn you expect people to show sympathy all i can tell you sis is to focus on having a healthy baby and seek mental health now i believe at one point danny was actually dating chaotic now he was on love and hip-hop if you guys don't know who he is so that's who she's stating maddie actually reached out to chaotic to ask if he knew danny so then she states you went from effing on will then effing on exclusive game then effing on Corey, and now you talk so who is exclusive game who is will I don't know if she's saying Mike Will made it or not. How does she know that she's talking to Chaotic if Danny and Chaotic is into it? And who is the exclusive game? How does she know about these niggas? Talking to Chaotic. I know. Because Corey be over there pillow talking with his pillow talking ass. Chaotic. That's more bodies than I've had in three years. Now, when Corey was on live, Danny now actually she only had one body in three years. Actually joined in and they were acting all clueless like they didn't know what was going on and why people were putting them together. Send me, send me his IG in this chat. You said you found exclusive games. Send the IG in this chat. Saying that they were in a relationship. You know, I have nothing negative to say about you, Maddie. I don't know the situation like that. You know, it's a lot of now how she don't know the situation like that when she just came out with all that information. They both was lying yesterday on live. Full just tagging me and comments saying I'm your new girlfriend. So I just want to clear something up that I reached out to Corey. Well, my PR reached out to Corey to do he a do promo the most when for he my be lying. new dessert shop, Peach Cobbler Factory, that's opening. Uh, so uh, Corey was telling me his dates uh, of when he, he's going to be in Dallas. And all of a sudden, I get a call from a Georgia number, and she called my phone like going crazy. So I just want to clear that up. Um, <clears throat> and another thing I want to clear up is chaotic speaking neg neg negatively on my name to her. So how does she know that chaotic was speaking? No, how does she know that chaotic was talking to her if she into it with chaotic, I don't understand that. Her. Right. And I'm riding, I'm riding in a Maybach right now that he say is his Maybach. So the same huh? Maybach that he put up, yeah, the same Maybach that he posted saying that he bought himself a Maybach, I'm riding in it right now. No, 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 yeah. what he called? You said what now? The one he posted? Yeah, the one, the one, the one that he posted. He had wrapped in matte black. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 what the fuck he say? Not just lying. I don't even want to react to that part. Um, so this is exclusive game, allegedly. I mean, his name clearly says exclusive game. <laughs> um, this is him, allegedly. Uh, he's a boss. I don't know what he does, but he's a boss. Um... That's all I got. I don't know if that's his son. Yep, that's his son. But, uh, yeah. Yep, that's that right there. He said it's his. Come on now. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. Uh, it was never his. T. 
Okay, yeah, well, I'm asking, I'm, asking, I'm, asking, I'm asking what people so I'm I, just trying to get a lot of... I don't okay, even so. know why he's speaking, speak, like... Did this nigga just say T? Talking to Maddie about me and this and that and all that kind of stuff. Like, nigga, you, you stunted in my Maybach for 30 days. And then when I got my Maybach back, I had to fix my own tire. You didn't even have the money to fix my tire on my Maybach. Oh, God. That was all good. That ain't good. Though, nah, they don't. I don't sound know, good. So know, that's I, I, those know, the two allegations every, I want to clear this, up. This, what this, Maddie saying something about chaotic saying something about me, and everybody tagging me saying I'm your new girlfriend, but it was really for a promo for my company. I ain't, I ain't entertaining that shit. Like you feel me? Like, people go, they go say what they want to say. You feel me? They go, but I, I, I ain't saying the allegation. But I'm gonna say this though. You know, with Corey SSG. Yeah, Corey bought for the car. I'm sick of watching it. <laughs> Exposing messages between him and Maddie. Here's some of what those messages had to say. Like, yo, like, hold on, I'm just, I don't want to, I don't want to, ain't too much, I don't want to show it. Like, do they look like a person? Do, do, if, if I were really this person, if I were really this person, if I. So, for those that want to watch uh, the. I have the whole video on my Patreon <laughs> of me. Getting these messages, girl. We read the messages yesterday. Just go to my Patreon, child. Link will be in the pinned comment. I read this person. Like, if I read this badass then person. Then Maddie then I... posted up her text messages. Now, I'm not going to read these messages because there was no real tea spilt in these messages. It was it more so of Corey just apologizing for the way that he's been treating her. And I think the last date that I saw on these messages was actually August 2nd. So that was 10 days ago. Now, I, I already reacted to these as well. Maddie was supposed to be going live on TikTok exposing everything that happened. But as of now, that has not occurred yet, but I will keep you guys updated. Now, Corey was on live and he did give people the opportunity to join in and he was answering. I'm going to tell y'all like this. And I already reacted to him talking to people too. I already reacted to that. That's on my Patreon as well. And that's definitely a boring part that I'm not about to get into. Um... I'm going to just say this. First of all, I did try to get on the live with the nigga. Um, he act like he couldn't see me. So, uh, or he just didn't shit. I don't, honestly, I don't know. I don't reach out to these people and we not friends. So maybe he don't know who I am. I don't know. Me and So Real T was like, yeah, <laughs> let's talk. So Real T was like, how can we get on the docket? But anyway, uh, I, 444 in the chat, it was probably God because um, the questions that I have, you know, he gonna have to definitely stand on that. And I'm not, we not going back and forth because you just wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. I have questions about, like he said something about the money yesterday uh, when some girl was asking. And with the money situation, he basically said he get his own money, she got her own money, right? And what he's what he keeps ignoring is the fact that when they started getting money in the beginning, he was keeping that money. Period. He he deflects and he goes on to a whole nother topic when you're speaking to him about what he needs to stand on business with. And quite frankly, God is probably stopping me from, you know, having an argument with the nigga because <laughs> he ain't gonna like what I have to say, to be honest. So I'ma just uh I'ma keep it moving on that. But if I could talk to the nigga, that's, that's what I would, I, I want to know why you did not give that girl her money. You know, that really bothers me because ultimately you making millions of dollars. You can't break her off nothing. Not only that, she was making the videos. I mean, um, editing the videos, helping you with the videos and the fact that he keep deflecting and just going to the, the, I make my own money now. It's just like, come on, bro. That's not. You know what I'm saying, you know, you know exactly what I'm saying. So he kind of in such an intelligence when he, he, he wants to prove his point on just bullshit, y'all. <laughs> it's just bullshit, man. <laughs> like, I want him to really stand on some shit, like really, really stand on some shit. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, it was his dream. It don't matter if it was your dream. You use that woman to, to help with your numbers, with the money, all that. And then he said, how can I take something back from her that I created? It ain't even about you taking the couple's channel because in the beginning, initially, it is what, what you wanted to do. But how did you take her personal channel? You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of real ass questions. And it's, I know he's going to deflect it and go to something else. I ain't got time for that shit. So y'all know I don't interview people. That's the reason why, though. I can't, I'm not. I need to really figure out how to articulate myself with interviews. And it's something that I'm going to have to really dive into if I want to expand my expertise in that area. I just don't know if I want to or not, to be honest with you. <laughs> To be honest with you, I'm not sure where I'm going with that. But um, one day if I end up talking to the nigga, definitely going to have some questions for his ass. But in the meantime, in between, um, y'all let me know what y'all think about it down in the comment section below. I feel like he's just wrong on so many levels. He shouldn't have never took her channel. That girl should have had some money, um, especially in, in the breakup. He shouldn't have never put them damn kids out. Um, when it comes to Maddie, he shouldn't have absolutely never gotten her pregnant. Um, it absolutely take two to tango. Neither one of y'all can blame neither one of y'all for y'all getting pregnant. That's the role that y'all decided to play in it. And now you got a, a whole nother baby mama to deal with. Um, they absolutely need to get a blood test for it. He's not wrong for wanting a blood test at all, uh, for that child because it was so short. Um, That's really all I got. <laughs> That's all I got. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all. Yeah.